everyone, Delilah here, checking in with the Fellowship Concert with King. the royalty, the Philly Brad. Just took the stage. He killed it. Like, how are you feeling right now? It was incredible. I, I didn't know how many people were out there until I literally got on stage and was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Thank God I got these glasses on. I was trying to get my zone in. It was incredible. It was incredible. No, you definitely killed them. You know, aside from your vocals, like his moves and everything, you're just like, I'm like, wait, what? So, you know, he had like amazing dancers. They were just going off. I mean, congratulations. Um, so you just came off a tour. You were in China for the past year. I was in China. I uh, was touring over in China. I used to tour in Changsha and Guangzhou. Um, okay. So I'm up there on my little Mandarin. Uh, but it was an incredible experience. I feel like I grew not even as a performer and vocally, but as a person. And I came back just ready to crush. Like, this is my first performance, like, huge concert since being back off tour. So I had that excitement from coming off the plane, ready to hit the stage. And it just felt so great to be back home and be appreciated and welcomed so beautifully. So thank y'all, Philly. So aside from this being your first performance here, I know this definitely means a lot to you because the whole benefit in general, it's family that put it together. You know, just talk a little bit more about that. Like, what does the initiative mean to you? So this is my brother's and my other brother Vince's uh, organization called BMAC. And it's just bringing awareness to the fact that 2% really is not enough. Um, I was fortunate to have a black African-American history teacher and a black principal, but that's two people. That's not enough, you know? And I believe as an educator myself, I could see the difference that I made to my students as a dean of students at an elementary school, which is crazy when, okay. I, when I talk about it. Cause I'm like, I used to give detentions and stuff, but like, it's not enough. It really is not enough. And I know the impact that I had, and I know the impact that the other black male, my brother and Vince, and it meant a lot um, that they've been doing this. And it was nice enough as, you know, this is family. So of course I would have done it anyway, but family and for this, it was beautiful. I think it's like the theme that we've been talking about with all the other interviews is like representation matters. So, I mean, I think that's great. You're a dean of students and just kind of like when they see like the authoritative figure that represents them that, you know, looks familiar to them, like, oh, I can see myself in their shoes and kind of reminds them, you know, you are like young kings and queens and, you know, to grow into your purpose. Yeah, uh, I think it's not even just about the fact that like black teachers are better than white teachers or white teachers are better than black teachers. It's just about presence, you know, and having and and being able to see children grow up and know that, wow, I can be that, you know, I can strive to do that. That's that's why I'm so passionate about it. Yeah, no, no, I definitely agree. What do you think is a repercussion for the shortage of black teachers in America? I think that children are dreaming as much as they could be. I think that they're they're aligning their level of excellence with that doesn't look like me or I can't do that because that's not where we come from. And that's wrong. Like you really can do anything you want to do in this lifetime. And I'm a living testimony. I'm a huge advocate of the arts and education. I'm a huge advocate for education. So like it really matters. And I think that the more that children see that, the more that they will strive and push themselves, you know, they're not seeing it. And it's like, it's like when you're surrounded by a bunch of rich people, you, you become rich inevitably, you know? So how about we inspire these children and surround them by positivity and love and, 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 and resources and help, you know, to get where they want to get to and help them dream bigger than they're already dreaming. You're so peaceful. I'm just like, <laughs> no, that's good. It's definitely good on what students need. Um, I mean, obviously this initiative is great. Um, you know, thank, thank you not just using your talents, but also on a daily basis, like, no, I'm really trying to impact the kids. So for anyone that you think maybe you want to consider going into education field, especially someone that's a minority, can you kind of just like quickly go over like the importance of it, like why they should consider like definitely going into the education field? I mean, you hear all the time that education is key, you know, and knowledge is power in, in any aspect, you know. I'm not even sitting here trying to convince you, like, every black kid needs to go and be a black teacher. That's, that's not what I'm not. But just the fact that education is key and knowledge is power and whatever you do, you know, and to not dream here. If I would have just dreamed here, I probably would still be working at Apple or, like, doing something that I really didn't want to do. But the fact that I was surrounded by resources surrounded by people who looked by me surrounded by that help it, it allowed me to elevate where I want to be and I'm ultimately w way further than I saw myself you know like I just toured China and came back and I'm flying back and forth and life is really great you know but life life was great because I was able to dream that way you know and the more for sure for sure like I I remember one of the most influential people in my life was my African-American male principal. I went to the Creative and Performing Arts High School, cap up. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Whaley was, he was like, 
you know, this is around the time that my mom and dad were, you know, divorcing and things were a little rough. And he was that father figure I needed. He was that inspiration. He was that letter of recommendation. He was that ride to the bus stop. He was everything that I needed. And that allowed me to keep going despite what was going on in my family, you know? So God is good. He'll place what you need in your life at the right time. And I believe that this is the perfect time for VMAC to be bringing awareness and doing things to black people by black people. I love it.